Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of season 2 of the Olympic Leon career mode in which we're going to kick it off over again against Dortmund in the Champions League. And as you can see in our first game in the Champions League, we took on Royal Antwerp. We picked up a 1-0 win against them in the Simda game. So I simmed a bunch of games in between uh, the end of last episode and this one. We simmed against uh, from Lille all the way to this Dortmund game. Actually, we picked up some, uh, we're technically undefeated, but well, we are undefeated in every game since. We're going to take on Dortmund here in this game. Who have uh, lost their, four, uh, their first game 4 1 to Real Madrid and got a pretty good team. They got Joram Moreno, Adiemi, Emetcha, Lamar, Daniel Marlin, Sadi Urschan, Ben Sibiani, Zina de Bast, uh, Nicolas Sula, Sasha Bowie, and Gregor Kobel in goal. Which is going to be a rather tough game. And um, for this game, since the Amanda's a little bit tired, I'm going to start Neo Carter in the team. And anything else I want to change? I mean, Adarush has got no stamina. He's clearly played against Sint. Uh, well, uh, uh, second team's played a bunch of games recently. And we're going to get into this one. Up against Dortmund and hopefully start the episode off with a win. Oh, no, 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 no. Jared Moreno shoots and the font saves. Are they trying not to get himself open in the centre? Why are all the crosses aimed at the keeper? Kessie has been absolutely bodied there from behind by Moreno, and it's not a free kick. And Kessie and oh, I has got room to take one. Kessie from Ridge. Kessie! Ah. Match and out. John Moreno. Shot is taken, and it's wide by Marlon. Cardi Chernar. Oh, it's a great pass. Please be inside the yellow. Oh, as if he's offside. I want to see this. Now he is, to be fair. It's just offside. To be, no, it looked like it was onside there, because that player's foot was over the white line. The Dortmund player. I swear that player's foot was over the line. Oh, Cholo. Paid through by Ryan Shirky. Mohamed Ali Cholo now. Let's make it 1-0. Our first proper chance of the game, and Kobo saves it. And there we go. Kessier. To Cho. Cho now. Gonna go random. Melo Cho's our best option here. Oh, Cho's done brilliantly there. Mohamed Ali Cho. I mean, the other runners helped him massively there, but Mohamed Ali Cho has just scored a fantastic uh, solo goal there to make it 1 0 just before half time. Dortmund have been the better team going forward. They've had more chances than us, but we defended well. You can see Ali Cho just cuts inside there. Sula. Can't react in time, and it's a great finish into the top left-hand corner. Nothing Gregor Kobold can ever do about that. And it's 1-0 to Lyon. So quite you can go back, you know. Matt Murray, big challenge, thank you. Oh, he's stuck at the ball though. Has he stuck at the ball? Matt Murray, oh, he's wiped out Julian Brandt there. Kick it thank you though. How was that not a free kick? Oh, I see this going to beat us to that Inter. Well, he certainly had an impact on that's the you know the has got there Ali Trenar love that Nadiola love that can you go there we go can't get in the centre oh why is oh that should I why did he stop the run I know it's not him it's a game that's made us stop the run there but why is that a thing oh what well, the second half is drawing to a close, and Leon are getting the job done. Well, they need to hold on here. And Betty now can get there. You have to say, they've defended really well up to and Betty and the Akate. Lamar shoots in the car, and the front work well there together. Oh, what? No, that is not where they've that pass. It's not where they've aimed that. That is not where I've aimed it. I should have just cleared it, but. I've aimed that pass to the player on the edge of the... I want to show you where I've aimed it. I want to point the camera in the direction I've aimed it. I've actually aimed it. You can see where I've aimed it there. Like to Samarjic. I've aimed it at Samarjic. But why is it trying to pass it to the quad of all players? Like Samarjic is wide open. Kessier would be a better option. I've actually aimed it at Samarjic and it's gone to the quad for no reason. I don't like this. Nick, that's a good work. Two minutes, the word. 
Now that was risky to do, considering what it just did to me a second ago, but I had to go for it. Jafinho had to send it here. Jafinho got back inside, love that. Jafinho. Oh, why did I, why, why did I try that? Why did I try to go around a bit today? It's a 1-1 draw. I guess it's a fair result, to be fair, judging by the game, but it's kind of annoying when we lost a point, or we lost a three points, because that, that goal shouldn't have happened. Okay, so our next game here is up against PSG in the league, and as you can see, they're currently fifth, though, 15 points, four wins and three draws from seven games and zero losses, obviously, though. And we're currently top of the table with 15, or fifth, uh, with 19 points, 13 goals scored, and only two conceded. But that is going to change in this game because PSG tend to score at least four against us in, when we play them in this game because they are, they are just unstoppable in this game, no matter how you know they're playing. And Bappe is just undeniable. Usman Dembele is just undeniable, and the rest of the team is just pretty good. I'm surprised that Orion are up there in Toulouse as well. Uh, they're currently doing quite well, but they're going to fall down possibly throughout the season. We're going to get into this one up against PSG. Who, as you can see, have a very good team. Xavi, Simmons, Mbappe, Osman Dembele, Modric, Cruz, and Pedri, Akimi, Marquinhos, Lucas Hernandez, Talia Vico, and uh, Dan Daruma in goal. We're going to get into this one up against them with our usual 11. Diamande returns to the team for this one, not because Nia Kati was bad, but because I just want to go with my like you know defenders that I can trust in. I mean, he does have more pace. And we're going to we're going to go near Kate again. Near Kate and Aquar again up against PSG. I'm going to give them another chance in the team. Two back to back games. And the rest of the team is going to stay how it is. The one way for Diallo, maybe. Diallo's got better just end product. But we need, to get, we need to get a lot more out of Diallo, man. I just feel like we're not getting anything out of him. And um, I'm not sure Ella Rouge is still completely tired. So he hasn't played any games since, uh, like, before that Dortmund game. Same with Alvaro and Saar. But we're going to get into this one, though. Up against PSG. And hopefully this time. Big my first points up against PSG in this whole career mode because we haven't got a single point against them so far. Well, Something easy has to do. Jafinia really now. Jafinia's doing brilliantly here. Mohamed Ali Cho now. Let's get that back over. Kakere. Adi Cho into Jafinio, lovely play here, Jafinio cuts it back, over to Shirky who hits it and it's blocked by Marquinhos and into the gloves of Donnarumma. Jafinio now, oh, I love that from Jafinio. Kimi would just read that way and get the ball. Adi Cho now hit that, Adi Cho, that's, that's a pass into Shirky actually in the end. Take it, Kekele now at your feet, bend that, oh, it's blocked by Lucas Hernandez, forces Jafinio who hits it and it's saved. By Donnarumma. Just a more here to be fair. Modric dinks it in. Mbappe, Niakate, Xavi Simmons. How have you conceded there, man? First shot of the game and this score. It's, uh, it's just... Like, what is that clearance? He gets a clean header on that near Kate, and like, he just goes, like, barely anywhere. Near Kate, fantastic challenge. Rush that's a free kick. It's a soft free kick, but it's a free kick nonetheless. I literally had Kumbedi in the way of that pass. Like, literally had him in the way of the pass. There's no reason that pass should get to Pedro. Like, Kumbedi is actually directly in the way. Uh, two shots and two goals. Like, I'm, uh, if they score again, I'm just going to send us this game because PSG, on ultimate, competitive mode and stuff like that turned on, are just undefeatable at the moment for us. That's Kakare here. Kakare, okay, just blocked again. Every shot is blocked or saved. Well, no, no. Madiola. Ryan Shirky here. Ryan Shirky, why is it straight at Donnarumma again? Shirky now, good corner needed. Kessier, oh, it's over the bar. Needed to score there, Kessier. Needed to score that header. Not sure why it's gone so high when I put like barely any power and aimed to the bottom of the goal, but you know, is where it is. 
Why, why, what was that challenge from Kekele? It actually challenged away from Pedri. Hakimi. Pedri, Usman Nabele. Oh, they're going to get a third here. Yeah. Just can't get close to them to get the ball. Lafont, big save actually there. Chevy Simmons. Oh, it's off the post. Lacroix, if you get. There we go. I was going to say, if you get beaten by Mbappe there, you're literally directly ahead of him. I okay, love that. Oh, how is uh, Pedri bots that? Let's kick it down the line. Look at it. Come on, lad. Adicho. 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 Every other game he scores that. Every other game he scores that. Jafinia back to Kekere. This is some good football. Kekere. Into Jafinia, but Marquinhos is just there every single time. Oh, my heart. Uh, excuse me. Of course you're not going to show it, because it wasn't offside. And brought on Kimpembe for Teddy Cruz. What type of change is that? And it's a CDM, I guess, but like... Playing Kimpembe at CDM. Be fair, fair enough. Uh, I'd, I'd, oh no, it's 3-0. No. The font big save needed. Yeah, it's 3-0. No. We really deserve something from this game, but... Yeah, this ain't gonna ever happen. I just feel like a, a PSG in this team, in this game, at this level, are just unbeatable. If Donnarumma saves everything that's at him, Marquinhos and Hernandez just block everything near them. And to save us time, it's the 70th minute. I'm just gonna jump to result and just take the L and move on. All right, so it's time for another big game here. Ticket on Real Madrid in the Champions League group stage. We currently are second with four points. Obviously, Real Madrid at the top with two wins from two. And uh, to be fair, we should have maybe got a win against Dortmund. We kind of threw it away ourselves. It was kind of annoying when we did that, but it is where it is. Going to get into this one, though, at home against Real Madrid. So maybe that will help us out. They've got Noel uh, they're playing a the young front line. Interesting. De Bruyne, Valverde, Badingo, and Chua, many. Una Menge, Alaba, Eda Militao, and Lucas Vasquez, and Thibaut Courtois in all. But that front line is interesting. I think it's because, obviously, they, they're listed as strikers. And um, Vinicius and Rodrigo can't play... Well, Rodrigo can play striker in game. He's got that as a second position, I think. But, like, because they're not listed as an out-and-out -out striker, they don't get played from the start. But they will get brought off the bench, as we've seen in the past against them. But De Bruyne's a huge signing for them in that cam role. That midfield is... Terrifying. That defence is pretty good as well. Obviously, Lucas Vazquez, questionable, but the rest of the defence is pretty good. We're going to get into this one over our usual 11. The Akate has earned himself a spot in the first team for now anyway. He's been playing quite well, so we're going to keep him in there for now. We're going to get into this one, though, at home against Real Madrid and hopefully somehow get something from this game because that would be, that'd be great. A win in this game would be huge. I'm going to tell the yellow to stay forward in this one. I need to keep... I need to actually... What is... He's on cutting side as well, okay. There we go. But yeah, but we need to get him into the all the time. But we're going to get into this one and hopefully beat Romero. At least get a point. That would be huge. Oh, now, now. Kelsier. Ryan Shirky. I mean, Rocky, you want to give me a free kick there? Is actually been, or, if I've heard, is actually pulling on Shirky's shirt the whole time there. Finney, I love that. Into Shaky, of course, it's blocked. Oh, Jafinia, love that again. Jafinia just hit that, why not? Courtois saves it out for a corner. That is yours every other week, at Nori. What? Oh, no. And back to Vasquez. Good challenge on the Akate, but like, they shouldn't have got that fired on the pitch. The second Vasquez made, made that run, we should have, like, Nuri should have stopped him. Brian now, Bellingham. Okay, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? I've actually, I've actually put in a challenge.
on Bellingham there to stop him from playing a pass or whatever. And my player's just done nothing. Well, here we can see it again. I can Looking tell you exactly when. Right there. To create space for himself, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. Oh, of course, you're not got the ball back there, even though it's right in front of you. Referee, get him off the pitch. It's a yellow, at least, but he's been, he should be off. Thanks, as always, to Alex Scott. The front, the save. Of course. Kessie, thank you. Why has he got no help? Why, why didn't no one make a run? Ref, that's off. That's the second. That's the second yellow. It, it, what? Well, the referee decided not to show him a second yellow card. But he's under pressure now. Another foul and he will be off. Oh, it's taking a piss. It's actually taking a piss. You can't give someone a yellow and they compete, they're compete. They putting another red card challenge and you go, oh, I'm not going to give him a second yellow. Finia, thank you. Okay, ref, ref, ref. Someone check his bank balance and check if there's been a, highly, a very high donation before this game because that's a red. Didn't get the ball, wiped out the man completely, through the back of him. They should be down to nine men. Oh, of course it's caught. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point. Matiolo, love that. Matiolo, keep going. Matiolo, love that. Matiolo, hit that. Oh, it's put on Militao inside from a corner. Shaky in again. Kessie, 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 Kessie. Oh, we should be level. We should be level. They should be down to nine men. We should be level. Go on, Nick. Oh. Una Menge. Oh, it's going to be two. No great block near Kate. Corner though for Real Madrid. Yeah, boy, I know what's any Another man who shouldn't be on the pitch right now. Finio, let's go. Can they do something positive? On the counter attack, Finio. Oh, just go. He's in here. Show you better score. Okay, thank you. Yes, a red. It should be down to eight men. <laughs> At least we got one red. I'm not, I'm not sure I should miss there. We get our free kick. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Madiolo hits it and it's saved by Courtois. Come on, lads. Shirky in. Oh, Courtois comes out and collects. A minute ago, now. That's one a minute ago. Guess he ate. And there's a Cho. Spins. Cho, hit that. Cho. Courtois somehow saves it. Buddy now. Goes round two here. Buddy to Diallo. Diallo. It's a shirky, shirky. Of course, it's blocked. Why is every single shot in that position blocked? But when my players are there, they don't do, they don't do anything. Chouameni. Garcia. Okay. Not sure why can Buddy's had it like that. Ref, what are you doing? Oh, what? Garth in the point of sitting this. No, he's going to play it short. Okay. Oh, he's going to hit it. Point. Oh, thank, thank, honestly, just sort of got a feeling that they will. Show many now. Bellingham, Lacroix. Okay, why have you, okay, what's going on here? And it wasn't really on the line, though, was it? But you know, Jafinia, come on, lad. Finio. Ryan Shirky. Amadiolo. Oh, he's offside. Had to be crystal clear. 
No. Okay, it's blocked, but we need, we need to get this ball and just run. But I know it's it in. Show sure heads it clear. Okay, Amadiola, this is your moment. Oh, of course that touch is so poor in that situation. Oh, how have we not won this game? I really don't. I, I, know, I know how we have not won this game. The referee. If I speak, if I, if I speak, I'm in big trouble. At ref, to end the episode after that disgrace of a performance from the referee in that last game in the Champions League, we're going to take on Leon in uh, Marseille in the league. Yeah, sorry, who are seventh in the league. We dropped down to fourth currently, but we're only what five points away from Sad Rene, and they are probably going to lose a couple of games. We need to obviously win this game to get back into the top three. Uh, obviously, we want to at least finish second this, league, this season again. As you can see, they're team up in Hosselu. They've got Vitinha, uh, Ishmael Assar, uh, Rangier, Kondopia, I mean, Halit, Renan Lodi, and Bemba, Tapsoba, uh, Klaus, and Paul Lopez. It's a very good team, to be fair. And we're also going to go into our team with our usual lineup. And um, I just don't know what to say, man. Like, that last game, like, could it have been more clearly a Marseille, not Marseille, Olympically on win against Real Madrid? Three red cards should have been handed out. De Bruyne, Valverde, three times he should have got sent off pretty much. Uh, Nuno Menge got sent off. Every shot we took in the in the final third got blocked or saved. Well, pretty much got blocked. We're going to get into this one though in the league and hopefully beat Marseille here. So at least any episode off on a high. Okay, so instead of actually playing the full game here because I cannot be bothered to play the full game because I know it's just going to be an extremely stressful and just, uh, for lack of a better word, bullshit game like the rest have been in this episode. We're going to play the highlights of this game and just hopefully get, you know, a win from this. We should beat Marseille here. The worst centers in the league. There's no reason why they should beat us. They've got a worse team, you know what I mean? But different from what we've seen in this episode, like, I wouldn't be surprised if they somehow win this, but they get corner kick here in the fifth minute. I'm not, I don't think I've played the highlights in this uh, game yet. I'm not sure if I've done the highlights in the C24, but see how they're going to be. It's a corner whipped in by, uh, cleared by Nori. And... We can't counter that there, but get a chance here though. A solo run, and I think next episode going to change formation and tactics again because clearly something's changed and they don't work. But Jafinio now, we've got to bury that. Jafinio, you have him top right corner. That is not his stats, that's the shooting of this game. You aim top right corner, it goes straight out of keeper. Unless you're using Mbappe or Haaland, pretty much. Madiola's has done well there, Cassier. Show, it should be a goal. There we go, thank you. Thank you. They had a chance to have had against PSG and Real Madrid in this episode, and they've just been blocked left, right and centre. But as you can see there, the player actually took the ball away from the defender, like they should be doing, and got the shot away. But we get a penalty here, I believe he chose on penalties. No, it's Cassier on penalties, actually. He's got the best penalty stats in the team, if I remember correctly. Where's the um oh, there it is, okay. Okay, see. Let's make it two. I had a feeling it was gonna get saved, to be honest. But sixty first minute. They get a current attack here on the ball. And doozy back from his loan from Lazio. I doubt he'll stay at Marseille to be honest. I wouldn't be surprised if he actually heads to Lazio in real life. But that's sober. Morillo. Get the ball out in the area. There we go. Thank you. And it's a wonder win. I to see it. Anticlimactic, I know, but you know, I decided to do it because I couldn't be able to play the full 90 minutes. Okay, so we actually are going to end the episode there. So I didn't plan on doing much more in this episode, but due to how just frustrating this episode has been, I'm going to end it here because I want to just, you know, relax and just do whatever I want to do. But next episode, we do take on Real Madrid again away from home and I might just sim it because we're not going to beat them let's be real we're not going to beat them I might just sim it and then take the L and move on instead of Rene we're going to play them in the league take an Antwerp that should be a win and Dortmund we should beat them at home and hopefully I mean honestly like I mentioned I would I would take finishing third in our group but judging by the way we played in our group so far we should finish second 
There's no reason why we shouldn't finish second in this group. Because Dortmund have drew two games from three. And we have won one, lost one, and drew one. And Well, we should be win two, drawn one, and lost one. No, not even lost one. You know what I mean? We should have two wins by now. We should have beaten Real Madrid, honestly. I stand by, we should have beaten Real Madrid away from at home. But um, yeah, that's going to call it for this episode. Just to see how the groups are going right now. Let's so see who we could be taking on the Europa League if we get knocked out. Milan would have been awful in the group. Okay, Leipzig got there. Rangers, Shakhtar, Barcelona are fourth in the group. What's going on there? Fenerbahce at top. And that's realistic, to be fair. And um, yeah, that's going to call it for this one. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a, li drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And just for the just stressfulness I've been put through in this episode, I'd, I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel as well. I'd also appreciate that. Turn notifications so you don't miss any videos. Now, see you guys in the next one. We're going to switch to a, a different formation. I'm going to try the formation I use in Ultimate Team and the tactics and stuff like that. Just to see if it works in Chrome and, and just see if it just is better. But yeah, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And goodbye.